Hey everybody, I'm Lori here at the Culpeper Library and it's time for Book Starter Saturday again. Um, this week's title is a young adult, adult title. It's called The Girl in the White Van by April Henry. Um, here is the book. The genre realistic fiction, young adult mystery, um, is a genre I really like. Uh, I tend to read those a lot and this one did not disappoint. So basically, this is the story of Savannah. She's a high schooler in Portland, Oregon. And she's moved around a lot with her mom. They're now living with her mom's boyfriend, Tim, who Savannah has a difficult relationship with. He's somewhat controlling and disapproving. She feels like a guest in his house and isn't sure how long they'll be living there. Um, her passion, the thing that really keeps her going, is that she takes kung fu at a local do dojo. Um, and she has a friend from school named Daniel who's also passionate about Kung Fu. In the meantime, there's been some rumors at school about various cars um, following some of the girls home from school. And uh, about a year ago, a girl mysteriously disappeared and there's been no trace of her and no leads. So that kind of sets up the story. Um, one night, Savannah gets into an argument with Tim, her mother's boyfriend, and he takes her phone as punishment. Um, Savannah decides she needs to get out of the house and heads to the dojo for class as usual. She stays late with Daniel, helping clean up. Um, it's part of the process. Afterwards, they both head out. Um, Daniel actually offers to walk her home, but Savannah's not really sure she wants their relationship to go in that direction quite yet, if she'll be staying in Portland, what the situation is. So she says, no, she's fine. She'll get herself home. She lives close by. Well, she's almost immediately kidnapped by a man who drives a white van and has been watching and waiting for her. So immediately the community, her family, everyone assumes either Tim is maybe responsible, but he's questioned by the police and cleared, or she's run away because she has this rocky home life. Um, the truth is, she's been kidnapped. Uh, the man in the white van has brought her um, to an out-of-the-way location. I, I don't want to give too many details away. Um, very remote area where um, she won't be found, and um, she quickly finds out that he's also holding as captive the other girl who disappeared and the entire perimeter of where they are living is guarded by an attack dog. So the girl who was originally kidnapped um, has been there for about 10 months and she's dealing with some injuries that she suffered trying to escape from where she's being held. She's still healing and she's scared so um, once Savannah and it comes to um, and they can talk, she realizes they need to join forces and come up with some kind of escape plan. Um, Savannah teaches Jenny some self-defense and attack moves that she knows from Kung Fu um, and they quickly decide that they need to, to get their plan together, um, their plan of escape. It's not perfect, they don't, they really don't have um, much at their disposal but working together, um, they come up with a plan and uh, put it into action, I guess is, is the best way to phrase it. I'm trying not to give too much away um, as soon as possible because they've realized their kidnapper is unpredictable and dangerous. So they know they might not make it out alive, but they have to try. I don't want to spoil the ending, so that's all I'm going to say about the plot, but I will say the book is exciting and suspenseful. Um, as I mentioned, it's written by April Henry, who's a well-known, best-selling author of young adult mysteries, and this one was a quick, intense read. Um, some of the details are similar to news headlines or other kidnapping stories, but there were a few unexpected twists that, that I enjoyed. Um, I really liked the way the girls joined forces, relied on each other and their own strengths um, to get through their ordeal. Um, Savannah, the main character, is a big fan of Bruce Lee, so martial arts is like an ongoing theme. Courage under pressure um, is, is, a, is present throughout the book. Um, and I thought the author did a great job of describing how two teenage girls working together can support each other mentally and physically.
The book does have some dark com content, uh, but overall it's an inspiring story of bravery and female empowerment. So if you like thrillers, I recommend this fast, action-packed read. We have several of uh, April Henry's best-selling young adult titles here at the library, as well as lots of other titles to choose from, so come on in and check out some books. Remember, too, uh, to follow us on Instagram, CCLTeen. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.